Five things I would never do after working at Widen Kennedy for 16 years, making commercials for brands like Nike and Old Spice. Never try to be the director's best friend. Directors are cool, they're talented, they're charismatic, probably have celebrity friends, they're rich, they probably have a used Lexus and an above ground pool and one of those electric pads for carving turkeys. It's natural to want to be liked by them, to be invited on their boat, and to eat snails and gross fish eggs like a rich person. But never let your desire to be liked by a director get in the way of you insisting on getting what you need to make a great spot. If the director isn't annoyed or mad at you by the end of the shoot, you're probably doing it wrong. Never pick a director based on their treatment. No matter what the director says in their treatment over the phone, what they actually shoot will look and feel like the rest of their reel 99 times out of 100. If they say they want it to look like a James Bond film, but none of the 20 commercials on their reel looks remotely like a James Bond film, probably not gonna look like a James Bond film. I use the 90-10 rule. I choose directors 90% on their reel and 10% on their treatment. Never treat production like a vacation. The incredible amount of work that you and your team did to come up with and sell a great idea is all for nothing if you don't crush the production. Don't assume that the director will make the spot as good as it could be without your input. If you're asleep at the wheel, you'll miss the things that seemed right on paper but aren't working on set. So take your Adderall, drink your coffee, mainline your Red Bull energy drinks, do whatever you gotta do to pay attention to every single take and every single detail with the vigilance of a possessed psychopath, and then continue to be an obsessive compulsive crafting machine throughout the post-production process. Never, never stop trying to make the work better. Show up to the shoot with a million alt lines, tons of alt visuals, alt jokes, and if something's not working as well as you thought it would, be prepared to change it immediately. Look for every opportunity to make it better. Always make sure you're on the same page with the director before the shoot begins. Creative disagreements are far more stressful and you will have far fewer options once the shoot has started. Not learning how to crush the production process is like making it to the Olympics and then getting drunk the night before and eating a Big Mac five minutes before your event. Don't get drunk and eat a Big Mac five minutes before your event, goodbye. If you wanna hear more tips like this, click the link below and check out my free masterclass.